Okay, this is Bobby Coggins. I'm out here with Cecil Bothwell. He's a Democratic candidate for Congress in the 11th Congressional District of North Carolina. Uh, today we've had breaking news that Heath Shuler has decided to retire and not run for another term to Congress, so that means Cecil Bothwell will be the likely nominee. Uh, how do you feel about Shuler retiring today? It didn't surprise me. We've seen it coming for quite a while. He hasn't been really active in uh, trying to collect donations. He hasn't been coming to the district to talk to people. He's even told newspapers that he wasn't going to start a campaign till August, which obviously is pretty late for the May primary. So it didn't surprise me. Uh, it certainly looks like it makes life easier for us, and we'll be able to turn our 1,000-plus volunteers toward winning the, the November election instead of worrying about the primary. Okay. How do you intend to beat the GOP now that you are the likely Democrat nominee? I know you've answered part of it, but could you sort of expand on that a little bit? The way I think we're going to win the election is to remind people what they really need right now, and that's jobs. Uh, here in Macon County, we've learned that the uh, unemployment as of December was 11.3 percent. The um, it, unemployment is as high as 17 percent in Graham. We're, we're hurt. We need jobs. And I want to remind them that in the past, we've built our way out of, out of depressions and recessions with democratic programs like building the Blue Ridge Parkway, like building the TVA dams that brought electricity to this, to this uh, part of the country, and uh, the Eisenhower Highway Program with the Republicans funding that, starting the Interstate Highway Program. Again, a federal pro program that delivered jobs. We need jobs today, and I'm going to tell them that the Republicans' plan of cutting, cutting, cutting is not going to create new jobs. It's going to put more people out of work. Okay, um, we've heard tonight that you've got a thousand or so volunteers in the district that's going to work for you. That's unheard of in this area. How did you go about attracting that number of people to help you? And what do you plan to do with them? Well, we start out with uh, lists, sign up lists at every event we go to. And we've been running this campaign for 10 months now. So we've had people sign up, give us their email address, their phone, phone number. Then we turn that around and ask them to join the phone bank. We have a, a distributed phone bank so people can phone from home. They don't have to all come to the same place to do the phone banking. Uh, we have them addressing envelopes. We have them going out to festivals, uh, putting business cards in people's hands and now brochures in people's hands. So the, the volunteers get out and talk up the campaign over and over and over again, whether it's through electronic means, through Facebook, through Twitter, uh, through uh, directing people to our website or using good old fashioned phones. We have a text program. So we, the, uh, for smartphones, there's a, if you text 72727, and write Cecil, it takes you to our website on, on a smartphone app. Uh, so we're using all of those technologies and all the good old-fashioned shoe leather. Okay, and uh, if people wanted to find out more about your campaign, how would they go about that on the Internet? It's Bothwell2012.com, B-O-T-H-W-E-L-L, 2012.com. Okay, thank you very much.